happening again? What do you mean? I've seen them before. Oh, these are. What are they? Cybermen. What's up, Jabroni? Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Doctor Who season two, episode five. I'm pretty sure it's five. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these reactions. If you are, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel or head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions. Yes, over on Patreon for one buck, you get them all uncut, unedited. You get this longer version of me talking to you guys. Head over there if you want that for a buck. Um, you get those every time they go on YouTube, you get them. So you can also get episodes early. There are tiers for that if you want Doctor Who. I mean, there's... A bunch of stuff on Patreon. If you want to check it out, I try to make sure I give you guys the best bang for your buck. Head over there, see if I'm doing a good job. If I'm not, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we're hopping into Doctor Who. This is episode this one, and it's called The Rise of the Cyberman. Could it be something to do with the internet? Could it actually be a robot? Could maybe it's a human that has like really high intellect? I don't know. Uh, last episode was absolutely phenomenal, amazing. The girl in the fireplace, love it. I love it so much that I, I noticed in that episode, the, the the guy, the written guy, the writer, or director, and I was like, man, this guy's name pops up and you guys tell me he's the best or one of the best. I look him up and he's written the episodes I've loved the most so far this two seasons in, man. So yeah, we're hopping in here. Let's see what Rose and the doctor are getting into. We also got our boy Mickey. He's with us now. Mickey, Ricky. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. It's my duty. I should have to inform them. You're going to die. And how will you do that from beyond the grave? Oh, oh man, what an overacting is my man doing? Kill him. <laughs> man, he is overacting out of his ass. He's overacting. Oh, man, the overacting right now is crazy. By right, both of them. I was editing the Doctor Who episode last week. Where's Jack? <laughs> We just left him in that one. I was on this. Um, you can let go now. Well, how long's it been since I could have stopped? Ten minutes? Twenty? Mm -hmm. Twenty-nine? Yeah, twenty. Forgot me. No, no, no. I was just. I was. What the hell? Dude, Mickey. Mickey should have been burnt to a crisp. Wait, this is a TARDIS. What was Jack's plan? Where from? I wonder if Jack's plan was called a TARDIS too. What? I lost the mention. Otherwise known as London. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> Blair never got elected. And he's still alive. Holy shit! World and my dad's still alive. My dad. Is there another Rose? Trust me on this. His own daughter who is someone else but not you Can't yeah see that's him, true not ever. well we all know rose isn't gonna listen to that Trust me on this. i'm guessing this version of her dad's gonna be an asshole like a rich cocky asshole maybe <gasps> rose is a dog okay so they don't have a daughter in this universe Mr. Yes, he became wait why wouldn't they have a daughter just saying thank you that's very kind of you He's a Mr. Who, Loomis? Some of us have work to do. Why oh, are you overacting, bro? The president has promised a decision. What's happening right now? Parallel world is like a gingerbread house. All those temptations calling up. Oh, so it's just Rose then. Nothing out there to tempt me. Well, I don't know. I can't worry about everything. <laughs> All right, Rose. What are you going to do to fuck everything up? One alternative world to another, it's easy. Not in the real world. It used to be easy. When the Time Lords kept their eye on everything, you could pop between realities, home in time for tea. Your attention! Christmas has come early, so come and get it! Oh, smell that, comrades. Burgers and chips, sausage and Wow, what are we doing to the homeless? Chicken and oh, I'm so hungry. So come and get it! He's like, fuck it! <laughs> I'll get one last meal before I die. Who's this guy? He's dressed way better than mom. I just gave away ten years of my life. Worth every second. What the hell? He said I just gave up ten years of my life? Crazy. Give me that phone. 
Eric. I got a house and cars and everything they want. Does she think that if she wasn't born, that this well, is what they would what they would have gotten was all that? Come there, daughter. That's not the way it works. Mickey tell her. Twenty four hours, yeah? Oh, where God. are you going? Well, I can do what I want. I've got the address and everything. Stay where you are, both The doctor's you like, shit! You come back here right now! Just... Oh, you don't know anything about me, do you? It's always about Rose. I'm just a spare part. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I I've got to go. It's on, eh? In 24 hours! Damn, Mickey. Yeah. You did that on purpose. I found something better. What's Mickey looking for? Is he just looking for a reason? Like in life, maybe? He doesn't start to attend. Where's he going? Home? Does he want to see his home? Is where he's. Is that? Does he have parents? Does he have another version of him? And then she, she died. She tripped and fell down the stairs. It's about five years ago now. I was still in school. Oh my god. I never knew. You never asked. You never said. You still. No shit, doctor. What are they doing? I'm downloading information? Mr. Pitana is very well connected. He's proud of her daddy. Who is it? Oh my God, his grandma. Shame on you tricking an old lady. I've got nothing worth stealing. Ricky? It's Mickey. Hey, what? I know my own grandson's name. It's Ricky. So in this world, what happened? In this world, what happened to you? I thought that God had disappeared you. Oh, that's how she died? That carpet on the stairs, I told you to get it fixed. You're gonna fall and break your neck. Well, you get it fixed for me. I should have done way back. I guess I'm just kind of useless. No, oh, man. I never said that. What van's that then? You know full well. Don't play games with me. Shit. He's part of like some type of gang, maybe. I'll be looking for you everywhere. Who the hell is this guy? You said that. Okay, so in this world, his name is Ricky, not Mickey. I'm not 100% like on board with the second, this, I mean the main story, but the secondary story with Ricky, Mickey, is awesome. I like love learning about him. Oh wait, are they killing them or are they turning them into the robot thing? Doing here. Oh shit. What am I doing there? We could have been anyone. Got us in, didn't it? You're in charge of the psychic paper. We could have been guests. Don't seem so. Well, maybe well, Lucy's just a bit thick. Why does Rose get like what? Okay, Rose, whatever. Random jealousy, but okay. Excuse He's like, I'm the dog. They're turning people into robots. Stop staring. Very interesting side story happening. So what I think is gonna randomly happen. My brain working here. I feel like somehow Mickey, Ricky, Mickey is gonna stay here. Not, but I feel like something's gonna happen to Ricky. I don't know. But they're not together. Interesting. So even in this dimension, yeah, he feels connected to her. That's cool. I like that. It's a callback. What? Are you commenting on my marriage? Ooh. No, I was just. Who the hell do you think you are? Your staff. You're nothing but staff. You're just a serving girl, for God's sake. You talk to me. What? What just happened? This is a little corny, but you know, show's gonna have these kind of moments. Happening again? What do you mean? I've seen them before. Oh, these are. What are they? Cybermen. Oh, so these are people from like, I guess old who maybe. What's happening here? Why are they attacking? Mr. Loomis. Oh, the, this guy. I suppose a remark about crashing the party would be appropriate at this point. Ah. I'm sorry. You're gonna I'm die. I'm so sorry. For what's been done to you. But listen to me. 
This experiment ends tonight. Upgrading is compulsory. Oh. Hey, man, he said what if. He said what if. I mean, am I not allowed to ask questions? Why are we deleting? Wait, what? what's happening? But if they're just killing people, what if some people want to be upgraded? Um, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Cool. Awesome. The, the husband bailed on his wife. <laughs> he so left her behind. I mean, you are kind of a bitch in this world. Are they gone? But they're just gonna shoot him? Um, why would bullets work? We're made out of metal. That's not me. That's like the other one. <laughs> oh, as if things weren't bad enough, there's two Mickeys. <laughs> it's Ricky, but there's more of them. Damn, bullets won't stop them. No, sh man, like what morons? Now! Hey, you're you're we idiots. Surrender. But we surrender. You are incompatible. But this is a surrender. You will be deleted. Why? We're surrendering! Listen to me! We surrender! You are inferior. Man will be reborn as Cyberman. Delete! Delete! <laughs> delete! Uh, okay, sorry. I started hearing Delete and I watch wrestling, so it's just reminded me of the... Um, okay. Um... Not 100% sure how I feel about that episode. It was okay. Uh, had really some really good moments um i don't know does a seven seem about right i'd say a seven because we got to learn about mickey we got to see how like kind like a kind of how rose's mom and dad if they ended up together it wouldn't have worked out anyway um we got to see a couple of good decent things this villain dude sucks he is hot trash this guy is garbage like i'm sorry like i don't he overacted like a mother like he overacted a lot not a fan of this guy um and then even this was overacting that like oh man it was that it was a rough start um but then we did kind of find this thing with mickey about like i feel like the more like throughout the episode it was just kind of like we kept forgetting about mickey kept forgetting about mickey that was like the whole story that was being told and then we got to know more about you know him and his grandma. I thought that was crazy, and the whole thing about his grandma dying. I thought that was all really, really good stuff. I mean, even the stuff with her dad becoming successful wasn't too bad. Um, I would I understand why Rose would want to go see him. I get all that. We had a lot of the dumbass villain guy. Um, the mom is the mom's an asshole in regular universe, and she's just kind of like even more of a stuck up asshole in this universe, just because she has money now. So, you know, whatever. Um, I liked Rose con kind of contemplating if she should go and it's kind of like in her own mind trying to figure out if she should go see her dad or whatever or this version of her dad. Uh, I like this, uh, well, the homeless being turned into robots, whatever. Uh, I did like the moment where Mickey walks away with Rose to go see something and Rose would do it like, they went like this and then he was like, you have to choose one. And it's never going to be me. And it's been like this thing with Mickey, right? Where that happened early in one of the episodes. Or last season, right? But then it never came, like, back up. Like, it seemed like he was over her. But then this season started again with her back, back, being back, not over her. Like, like the episode of, uh, of, uh, Boomtown, which I didn't love that episode. But the whole, it's always the doctor. It's never me. It's never me. That moment. But then again he's feeling that way again and then it's just they don't run with it like he needs to like grow up here and fully stand up to rose and he's had moments of doing that but then he falls back in line with rose again i just find that really weird um then yeah we have to meet the grandma we get to see this uploading stuff which is all pretty decently interesting the grandma stuff was great though like i love this whole thing i love how he looked he looked at the rug and the grandma, he, he should have fixed it for her, but he didn't. It's just all this stuff, right? And then she ends up dying in his universe because she was on the road. Like, I thought it was all great. Then we get kidnapped. I thought it was like a gang or something, but it was like these mer like these people that are rebelling against the uh, against the government, essentially. Uh, 
Then we have these people being turned into robots. Um, the being servants, I get why the doctor chose to be servants because you know, the, the the staff would talk. You know, they'd be the ones to talk. I didn't love Rose showing jealousy here. Or whatever was happening, uh, she does this, and I never, I never understand why. Like, there's such thing as being jealous, but the doctor merely saying, "Oh yeah, this girl over here told me." Oh, and she's like, she gets jealous. I'm like. That's a problem. Like, that's like a personal, like, you got issues if that's like an issue for you. First off, doctor's not your man. Even if he is your man, that's even bigger issues. Like, that you get jealous so easily. Um, so we'll leave that. Then we keep going here. Robots come. The Mickey Ricky thing was interesting, I guess. Um, I was wondering, I thought, because the mom had said you left and I haven't seen you in a while. So I thought maybe he was in the army. Or even at one point, I thought he might have been dead. And his version of this world, his uh, Ricky, might have been dead, but it wasn't. It was that uh, he joined these like uh, militia people, whatever you want to call them, these rebels, and they had to stay away from uh, family to keep them safe. Um, I also like the call back here with Rose and her dad about him being able to talk to her, and he's just kind of saying a bunch of stuff, and then he's like, "Why am I telling you any of this?" Like. Almost like it's too easy. It's easy. It's like it's like it's meant like it's a, it's a, it's we're meant to be able to talk this way. I thought that was all really really cool, and I liked that they did that callback. Um, I didn't fully understand why Jackie turned here. Like she tried to tell her about like Rose was talking to her about being like you should give him a chance, all this stuff. But then she turned like until me, Jackie, for some reason, which I guess kind of just shows how much of a uh, stuck up. You know, she is. And then we get these robots, which I guess when they reveal them, it would have been like a big thing if I was like a Who fan from back in the day. And like I knew who the robots were from old Who, but I have no idea. So again, none of that is like a cool factor for me. They did this in the other episode with uh, Sarah Jane Smith, I want to say, like, like one lady and the dog. So they do these callbacks that I guess would elevate the episode for those that knew. But they don't really, I mean, they kind of hurt the episode for me just because it's like generic robots, whatever, walking, I don't know, but whatever. It doesn't hurt it too bad. Uh, and then here, like you will be deleted or whatever he says, but then he, they just start killing everybody. Just because he doesn't want to be it doesn't mean anybody else doesn't want to be it. Why are we just killing everybody? Like, like if we had a choice, Unless they can tell who's compatible and who's not when they kill them, before they kill them. Um, I thought the ending here was cool. Uh, the gun thing is dumb. They're idiots. Like, clearly look like robots. Like metal people. Why would bullets work? But whatever. Uh, I like the doctor going, we surrender, we surrender. And the robots going, delete, delete. I thought that was all interesting, or at least fun. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a seven. I thought it was okay. I thought it was better than okay. I thought it was an okay episode with some really good moments. That's where I'm at. I think that's like what an eight is, a, a seven is, I mean. So like a solid seven is what I, I'd give it. Maybe a six, I don't know. I'm in that range. Some of you guys might really love this episode and some of you guys might not. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Hopefully you guys uh, liked my reaction. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Head over to Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut, unedited. Right now we are at an hour. So if you want to see an hour of this, Head over there to Patreon for one buck. You can get it on the day that it drops on YouTube. And you have tiers to get episodes early. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.